Hey guys, I've edited my very, re-edited, I should say, my very first YouTube video, and I'm bringing it to you here next. Um, I've cleaned it up just a little bit, added an intro and an ending, and uh, I hope you enjoy it. Uh, the channel was started by accident, for those of you who don't know. I was trying to show how to do a technique to a teacher of mine, and the only place I could figure out how to load the video was YouTube. So there you have it. Now I have a YouTube channel. All right, enjoy the video. I'll be so back. So I in do a my mono prints. So first of all, I went to an art salvage company near me in San Francisco, California, and they had this sort of acrylic box. I cut it apart, thinking I was going to make stencils out it out of it. Turns out it's great for mono printing, for especially what we're going to do now. You could go to the art supply uh, office supply store. And this is just an inexpensive binder. It's clear enough to do what we're going to do. Uh, you could cut the covers off and use them. I'm going to use my acrylic sheet I used before. One side of this has a texture and one side is smooth. So I want the smooth side up. That's where I want the paint. Uh, and I have my picture. It's a different one than the one we've been using in class. I've put it in a clear sheet protector um, so that I tend to be a messy painter, so I don't want to get paint on the original print in case I want to use it again. So I have it in a sheet protector so I can wipe it off easily. And I'm going to lay my clear sheet on top of that. We have an assortment of palette knives and small brushes. And of course our handy dandy rollers. I've picked a color of paint that I like, in this case this green, and then white and black. I also am going to use a glaze, acrylic glaze. So when you're doing mono prints, you want a thinner paint. Um, you want to slow down the drying time. And glaze does that. It also makes the paint a little bit translucent, which I like. Um, so okay, we're going to mix make three little piles of paint. We're going to mix each one with a good amount of glaze. We're going to end up with a medium value, a light value, and a dark value. So I want to add white to one pile. And a little bit of black to the other pile, not too much. And we will mix it up with a palette knife. Grab a rag. This is our medium. We didn't do anything to the medium. I think you can see that better. And then this is going to be our dark. Well, if it's you know not completely mixed, it's not going to hurt anything. It'll just add, add more interest to the painting. And the idea is to create a suggestion of the figure, as Pauline's always saying. Happy accidents are okay. Um, okay, so we're going to start with our small roller, and we're going to take our medium value paint, and we're going to just sort of outline and suggest the basic figure with the medium value. Not too much paint. If you get too much on there, you can wipe it off. We're going to get our sheet of watercolor paper. And we are going to take this clear acrylic sheet and lay it over the top. Controller. and set that aside. 
You don't have to wipe this off every time you do a print. Um, but I would suggest maybe doing a couple of prints. Sometimes when I do these, the first one comes out kind of dark, and that first one here, that looks a little dark to me. It may end up turning out okay, but we'll see. But I'm going to print it again. Yeah, that one's, I think that one's better. So now we're going to not wipe any paint off. We're going to go back over our figure. And we are going to use a brush. And our light value of paint. You can use a brush or um, one of the small palette knives. Depends on what I'm doing. Hold it down with one hand while you're doing your painting in your highlights. That way if you need to, you can lift it up a little bit. Let's see, I think I want to come in here with the palette knife. Just making suggestions. Okay. See what happens. Well, let's take our one that we like, which is this one. We left the darker green paint on there so we can sort of line those up and just eyeball it, which is why we didn't wipe it off. And roll it out again. Okay, that worked. Set it aside. And we're going to take our other one and we're going to use up some of the excess paint. Don't ever waste your paint. I started doing this with glazes because I didn't want to go to the art supply and buy ink. Every time I go to the art supply I spend way too much money. Okay, so now we're going to go in and we're going to do some of the dark shadows and the hair. Sure. I like to use the palette knife, but make sure you don't get too much on there. Hold it down good with one hand. So now if you get some paint where you don't want it to be, like I just did, take a rag. I believe in happy accidents, but that would have been too big of a happy accident. Okay, we're going to suggest there. Maybe there. Everywhere you see some shadows in the picture. It doesn't have to be perfect. We're not going for perfection. You're just suggesting the figure. I think that's good. Let's see. Maybe a little more. Let's use the brush. Gives us a little more control. This is a tough one. See what happens. 
I think I want to do this one first because I think it might be a little bit dark. Let's see. So again, we're going to line up sort of that paint that's in the background. Roll it. It's not bad. I do think that's a little dark though. So we're going to go and we're not going to add any more paint. We're going to go over this one. Okay. That's what we want. I like that one. Okay. Now. Now we're going to mix up one more color. So I like to, for the uh, outline, use a golden fluid acrylic. It's easier to use. I'll mix a little bit of it. Let's do it on here. Okay, I'll mix a little bit of it on a spare acrylic sheet. With some glaze to slow down the drying time so it doesn't dry before I get it all on there. And I like a good Nice long liner brush. I like this one. I'll mix it up. Okay. Bring our picture back. Now is where we want to wipe off some of that extra paint. So I just use a rag, paper towel, napkin. It's not dry on there. So I'm going to be able to wipe it all off. If you wanted, you could make a couple more prints. There's probably enough paint on there to do a couple more. Now you're going to just outline the figure. Holding down one corner. Make sure you get all the important parts. Make sure you also don't stick your hand in the one of the outlines. I've done that. I don't like this line right here. I think it's kind of thick. That's better. I'm going to go in there with a little less paint. You know, is add more. Taking away is harder. All right, here we go. Let's see what we get. Let's take our favorite one of the two first. Moment of truth. Roll it out. Let's see what we have, shall we? Yep, I knew I was going to like that one. So there we go. There's our figure. Let's see if there's enough paint on it to do the other one. It's not bad either. Not bad. And if I grab my pad of paper, I always have extra paper around, like most of you, I'm sure. There's the paint on there to squeeze out one more. It's faint. It's 
so I don't ever waste my paint. I always have extra paper around so I can just make some random marks and use up my paint. Later on this will become another painting, a collage, or something. But I always have something to use up the extra paint. Like this big did sheet Did you of enjoy paper. that? I hope you did. That was a lot of fun, wasn't it? We were in my old uh, studio space, which used to be out in the garage, which had its good points and its bad points. It was really cold in the winter and really hot in the summer and really dirty and dusty, which wasn't good for my asthma. But on the plus side, I could make a mess. I could be free. I could be splattery. Nobody cared. It was a lot of fun. I missed that part of it. All right. That's it right now. I hope you enjoyed this. I'm going to do one or two other uh, old videos, oldies but goodies. And uh, I hope you enjoy that. And don't forget the most important thing. Go out and have a great day and do something nice for yourself because you deserve it. Don't forget that. All right. I'll see you later. Bye.